We're getting to that humid pattern again where thunderstorm chances in the afternoon start ramping up and it's going to be for the next week or so. I've got the solution. CBS Austin weather app. Always. Always. Boom, right there. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow you probably won't need it. We'll have fog and clouds to give way to sunshine. But starting Thursday, we're going to be on a streak of daily storm chances that develop to our west along a dry line in the afternoon and work their way eastward. Sometimes they'll be hit. Sometimes they'll be missed. Computer models don't even agree on whether we get storms each and every day, but some say yes on every day, starting Thursday all the way through next week. 73 outside right now. High temperature today made it up to 82 degrees. So what to expect? Almost like a preview of summer. No, not triple digits, but I do have 90s in your forecast five in the next seven days. We'll see mid 80s tomorrow and Thursday before things really ramp up and humidity. Today was a starter package. Tomorrow we start to see things continue to ramp up and then we will definitely level up to the misery level starting Thursday and beyond with the dew points in the 70s. As for storms, afternoon to evening storms, some strong to severe Thursday and Friday can't rule out more strong to severe even through the weekend and into next week. Temps outside right now, upper 60s, low 70s. It's actually really nice out there. The moon, the stars, beautiful. Meantime, the muggy air is here, cold front to our north. The dry line, that's going to be what sets off storms each day. It did set off storms way out in West Texas. Those are fizzling before reaching us tomorrow, much the same. But it'll be that dividing line between the dry air and the humid air that each day will be what we key in on for possible storms. Here's a look at Thursday. Level 2 of 5 severe weather risk in the Western Hill Country. Level 1 for the I-35 corridor. And the setup will be very similar. A north to south oriented area where storms will develop along the dry line out in West Texas and then head their way eastward. Now tomorrow we're going to see some patchy fog to kick off your day, then lots of sunshine, high temperatures, low to mid 80s. Then as we head toward Thursday, waking up to clouds and fog yet again and waiting to see if storms develop. We'll have to watch them along the dry line out west. Some may make a run at our area. Others may dive either north or south. In this instance, this computer model says most of it may actually miss, but it's not a sure bet. So for that reason, I'm keeping the severe weather risk in for Thursday with a 50% chance. On Friday, a severe risk possible, a 40% chance. And look at those temps as we soar into the low 90s. We'll be right back.